Fighters are the soldiers of space conflicts, giving their pilots great maneuverability along with firepower and armour. If left unchecked, squadrons of fighters can cause serious damage to even the largest of warships. Fighters come in a range of different sizes. Generally, you want to build a fighter which will fit in your fleet's hangars and landing pads for ease of use. Typically, the larger a fighter is, the more survivable it will be. However, this will also impact the handling and make it an easier target. A key part in designing a fighter is finding that balance in size which works for your fleet and for your combat preferences. Fighters typically carry multiple types of weaponry. The main thing fighters should excel in is taking down other fighters, bombers and small crafts. However, fighters can and will make strafing runs on large ships and for this reason one or two heavier weapon payloads can come in handy. Gatling guns are a fighter's best friend. They are extremely effective at shredding through small grid armour and components. However, a strafing run with Gatling guns will rarely do any substantial damage to larger warships. Auto cannons can be a great middle ground. They aren't as effective as Gatling guns for dealing with fighters, but they are much better for hitting larger targets. You will also need to be more accurate as they have a much lower fire rate than Gatling guns. Rocket pods are brilliant for using on larger vessels for a quick bombing run, delivering quick bursts of explosive damage. Many fighters also employ turrets. This can be useful when fighting multiple opponents to cover your back, but they will take up a lot of space and increase the overall fighter size. Fighters need to be extremely careful when enemy corvettes are on the field. Corvettes are designed to take down entire squadrons of fighters single-handedly. They deploy quick-firing weaponry and big thruster packs to screen their capital ships from fighters. Enemy fighters and interceptors will also directly be targeting you. These need to be dealt with quickly. If left unchecked, they will harass your larger warships. Almost all ships corvette size and above will at least have some point defence, or failing that, they will be wielding very heavy weaponry which can be easy to avoid, but if you do get hit, you'll probably be knocked out of the fight. Fighters are an extremely valuable asset in a conflict. They can make or break a battle. If the enemy fleet also has fighters, you should use yours to counter them, along with corvettes for support to give yourself a fighter advantage. From there, you can use your fighters to harass larger enemy warships and shoot down any bombers or smaller vessels coming for your fleet. Please remember, these videos are my opinion and are not solid fact. Anyone can choose how they wish to class their own ships, I'm just voicing how I go about it in my own ships. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel, and as always, take care, everybody.